Let's do it. You're listening to The Unstoppable Show, a podcast that inspires listeners to do what they thought was once impossible. Hi, my name is Gilbert Patino, and I'm here to help you, to motivate you, to push you, to show you that it can be done, and nothing is going to stop me. Let's go. Yo, what's up? What's up? How's everybody doing out here tonight? Yeah, man. You know, um, it's been a while I've been on my show. No, I'm trying, my camera's falling down and everything. There we go. There we go. We're trying to get this camera right. All right. So today we are talking about do not be afraid to start all over again. Sometimes, hey, what's up, Jimmy? Sometimes... We are afraid to start all over again, man. You know, whether it's a job, whether it's a business, whether it's a girlfriend, whether it's a wife, whether it's um, anything. We're afraid to start all over again. We're, we we constantly got that that scaredness in us like, man, you know what? I can't start all over again. How, what am I going to do and how am I going to um, do it this time? It took a long time, you know, to, to do everything I did. But sometimes we have to. We have to. And the reason why, because maybe God is it's it's time. You know, it's time. You know, you gotta change it up. You gotta do something different. And you know what? Yeah, it might have took you a few years to build this, but that that don't mean that you can't build it again. You know, like um what's that um what's that uh riddle or or, or a poem or whatever it is, um where they they blow the house down, you know, the, the three little pigs. Everybody knows three little pigs. And the guy first makes it out of straw or actually out of hay or something. I can't remember, you know, but he makes it out of something. And the wolf goes there and blows it off. Right. So the next thing he says, make one, let's make it out of wood. So they make it out of wood and then he blows it off. And then the last pig says, you know what? We're going to make this out of brick and clay. And, and the wolf, no matter how many times he puffed and puffed, he couldn't blow it off. Well, that's the same thing with your life. You know, maybe last time you didn't make it solid enough. You know, maybe maybe this time you're like, there's times where I've seen people that have to give up restaurants. You know, I know them personally that had to give up a restaurant. And now shoot, they got like eight or nine restaurants, you know. And we we are known we are known as people to be afraid of it, to be afraid. It's just like, it's just like if you tell me, man, free, you know what? You have to start all over, man. You know, you have to start all over DJing again. You have to start all over meeting all these places. You have to start all over um, being able to get respect that you got now, you know? But I would do it. I would do it in a heartbeat because I know that this is what I'm good at. I know that it took a lot of years, man. I, like I said, I've been DJing since not, like almost 1989 or uh, close to 89. You know, it was, it was like 88, close to 89. But anyway, I built this, you know, I built the respect. You know, there's DJs out there that tell me, you know, personally tell me, man, Dana, they, I really don't like you free, but I respect you. And I said, you know what? That's perfect. You know, I don't expect everyone to like me, but if you respect me, you know, I respect you. And that's, that's it. We're done. You know, there's nothing, nothing else, you know, we respect. But I, I see people all the time that stick with a business. And I'm not saying not to stick with a business because sometimes you got to, it's going to take time to get there. But sometimes you just got to start all over again and make it stronger, you know, make it stronger and, and, and do what you were planned to do. Now, I know a lot of people that have businesses that that struggle, that say, man, you know what? I, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm, a, I'm afraid that I'm going to lose it and everything. And they ask me for advice. And I say, you know what? Say you can borrow the money. You can borrow the money out there. 
And, you know, you get money for your business. Speaking of money, you know, I, I'm with a company where we lend out capital, you know. And um, what I'm getting at is sometimes even after you get the money to borrow it and everything, something else comes up. Why? Because it's not for you no more. You got something bigger. Like they say, when one door closes, another door opens, you know. And sometimes the problem is we don't let that other door open. The other door can open wide open. God got the door wide open for us. But we don't see it. We're closing the door because we got fear. A lot of us got fear. If you tell someone right now, man, if you had to start all over, would you start all over again? Oh, man, you know what? I don't think so, man. It's a lot of hard work. It's like, what? you know what? Hard work makes results. You know? And, and, and that's it. There's no way that you're going to be able to have a life with it being easy because there is nothing easy about life. The only thing easy about life is when you get there, when you're able to have the income you want, when you're able to do what you want. And even when you're at that position, you still got to work, work hard. You know, I, I, I talked to somebody not too long ago and I said, man, you know what? Man, you're almost like a, you are a millionaire, you know? Why are you still working? He said, man, you know, because I can. And he tells me, why are you still working? I said, because I'm not a millionaire. And then I, he said, but you're still, you're still going to be working. Because the thing is, if it's in you, it's in you. And, you, and you're going to keep on doing what you're going to be doing. And it makes sense, man. It makes sense. And a lot of times, you know, we fight. We fight and fight and fight. And sometimes we're fighting for something that needs to be closed that we need to start all over again. You know, sometimes we stay with a girlfriend because we get used to her or we or, or you might stay with a boyfriend because you get used to him. When there's probably something out there that's better for you, something that's going to grow for you, something that's going to be really good for you. You know, a lot of times we get into toxic relationships, you know, and, and, I, and, and I'm about to be the perfect, the perfect one to tell you because. Before I met my wife, you know, I was dating different girls and, and you know, and I couldn't find a happiness. And, and you know, I had one ex-girlfriend that I, that I really cared about. But now that I think about it, you know what, Ben? It's not what I have now. I remember arguing and fighting and going through this and it was toxic, you know. And when you start all over again, because if I would have never start all over again, I wouldn't have met my wife. You know, I wouldn't have had the person that God really wanted me to, to marry and be with, you know. And so if you have a business out there and you're struggling and you're trying to hold on to it, then guess what? It's time to not stress and figure another way to open the business bigger or open it more. You know what I mean by more is, is you got to pull yourself back. You got to when when you when people are playing sports and stuff like that, you know, and, and you're they're not doing too good. They pull you back and they say, man, you know what? You got to do something different. This is not working for you. You know, and that's the same thing with life. I don't know how many times that I've done something and then it, it, it wasn't for me. You know, and, and sometimes there's, there's not too long ago and I won't mention the, the, the place, but not too long ago, I said, you know what? Um, I appreciate, you know, letting me letting me work here, but there's too much opportunity out there for me to make some more money, make more money for what I'm doing. And, you know, they told me, well, you know what? You have a, you always have a door open here. And I'm not saying that the money would not get bigger, but as of right now, you know, I'm paying you the more paying you more than anybody else. And I understand. I respect that. I respect that. But I had to pull myself back and say, you know what? No, I'm worth more. I can do more. You know, I probably can do more without DJ and just being in my house, running my other businesses, you know. But there has been times where I had to start all over again. You know, there's been several times I had to start all over again. You know, growing up was never easy. I had to start all over again. You know, 
And as I've done that, I've grew. I've grew. You know, I never thought I'd be able to say, you know what, man? I own this. I own that. I have this. I ain't got to worry about this. I ain't got to worry about that. I'm good in this. I never thought I would be able to say that. But the only time I was able to say that when I started realizing, you know what? There's nothing wrong with starting all over again. There's not. You know, if I brought it the first time, then believe me, I could bring it the second time. And if there's a third time, fourth time, I'm going to bring it. And I'm going to keep on bringing it harder than what I did before. And, and, and you could do the same thing. And you could do the same thing. The, the thing about it is people don't have the confidence in themselves sometimes. Don't feel that it can happen. And they always have excuses. People, how many times have you heard, you know, I heard excuses during COVID. Oh, you know what? Because of COVID, I can't do this. Because of COVID, I, you know, what? it probably was the best time to do it. It probably was the best time to do it. It's, you're going to be able to do what you see. And that's it. Because what you see is what you're going to get. You know, if you see negative things coming out, then you're going to get negative things going in. But if you look at it as a positive, a lot of times the problem is we are negative. How many times you heard somebody, oh, man, you know what? I ain't got no luck. The only luck I got is bad luck. How many times you have you, how many times you seen somebody say, oh, man, you know what? Things always happen to me. I got a flat tire. I got this. I got that. Well, maybe the reason why you got a flat tire, because there was going to be a wreck where you were going to go to. Sometimes, you know, things happen to us. And then we realize, and, I, and, and I'll, I'll be the first to tell you, I remember one time I got a flat and I was like, oh, man, you know what? God, dog, I was mad because first of all, I don't like changing tires. You know, thank God I have AAA. I ain't going to lie. And um, but then later on. There's a big old wreck right there, a big old wreck, you know. And sometimes we don't, and real close by. So if I would have kept on going, guess what? I would have been in the wreck. So we shouldn't see things as them being negative. You know, we shouldn't. I remember this one time. I had a lot of road rage at one time. And I, I don't know more. I don't no longer because especially now, you know, it's just bad. You honk at somebody, they go crazy, they pull out a gun. And even if you have a gun, it ain't going to make no sense. You know, it's just going to be bad, you know? And I remember um, the very last time I said, but you know, I ain't gonna honk. my wife don't let me honk at no one. I can't even honk, you know, but they stay too long. I got to do a deep, like a little beady honk. And, um, but I remember that I was like, man, they're taking a long time. And I was waiting and waiting, right? But then I was able to see a sign. I was able to see a sign, you know, and it was awesome. It, it became a deal. It became a deal. You know, I was able to, to go put some money down on it. You know, that's when we flipped the house like a, a while back. Um, it wasn't a lot, but it was enough, you know. So sometimes we have to go with it. We have to, you know, find something good out of it. Find, instead of being so negative all the time, you know, there's people, like I said before, there's people that are my friends that call me and I talk to them very shortly because it's, I, it might not be their fault, but they always have negative stuff to say. Always. Oh man, you know, my damn job. I don't, this is about my job. You know what? If you don't like your job, find a way to get out of your job. You know, I have not worked, and I don't say this to be bragging. I'm just saying this because this could be you. I have not worked for no one for over 20 years. 20 years, man. But I work every day. I work hard so I won't have to work for no one else. You know? And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with working because, hey, everybody works. But what's wrong is when you stay there. You know, if I sat here and tell you, man, you know what? I've always been legit. I never did no illegal things. I'll be lying to you. You know, growing up was very hard. I grew up in Denver Harbor. It was very hard, you know, so I did my thing. But as much hustle as I had in that, I have in this twice. And I don't have to worry about worrying about this and worrying about that. I don't have to worry about that. See, a lot of times we put all our energy 
in something that's never going to make us money. It's never going to make us money and we stay there and we stay there and we're loyal and we keep on being loyal and and sometimes we're so loyal. But you know what? As loyal as you're to that job, it don't matter if you've been at a job 18 years, 19 years. I've seen it. You could be at a job a long, long time ago. The minute something happens to you or the minute you mouth off, any, anything can happen, they let you go. They let you go. You were gone. They replace you. It don't matter how many barbecues you had with them. It don't matter how many times you kicked it with them. It don't matter if y'all thought y'all were family. If y'all, you know, whatever it was, it does not matter. So look how much you're putting into the company and look what you're getting back. You see, and a lot of times we we go through that. We go through that. I don't know how many times we've seen people Man, you know what? I've been in my job for 19 years, man, and I lost my job. I can't believe I lost my job. You see, when you're at a job, you should be that sponge. You should learn. You should be that. You should be learning their trade. You know, and if you're not happy at your job, you do not need to be there. I always tell people, do what you love and love what you do, but do it right. Do it right because sometimes people say, man, Free, how, how, do you, how do you DJ? How do you get all these gigs, man? How, how do you do it? I said, because I'm not thinking about me. I'm thinking about them. I know what I can give them. And as long as I know what I can give them, I know what I'm going to receive back. You know, it, it was in the beginning, it was never about me making money and stuff like that. It was because I love doing it. I remember at one time, man, I was DJing way back in the 80s and I would get like a burrito, burrito and $40 that night, a burrito from Taco Cabana and four, not even from a good restaurant and $40 that night. And today, man, it's good. It's real good. But I got there. I got there and if something happened to me today, if something, if someone said, man, you know what, Free? You have to start all over again. Guess what? I am going to go so hard because back then they didn't have computers. They didn't have this and nothing was digital. Now this world today, man, you could master it. You can kill it. You can go to YouTube. You can pick up trades. You can go to TikTok. You can pick up trades. You can pick up this. You can listen to my shows, anything, and you can grow from it. Don't ever think you cannot do it. I had somebody not so long ago. They were... um, they're working for a plumber and we started talking and I said, man, who, who you, you know, I ain't gonna say the name, but I said, How, do you do side work, bro? He says, well, no, cause if the company finds out, man, they'll let me go. And I said, man, you know what? How long you been with the company? And he told me, and I was like, man, you know what? That's a long time, bro. It's a long time. And then I said, I don't want to get in your business, but you know, what's the, what, you know, what do you make? And he said, oh man, I, I, I do okay. I was like, man, you know what? I said, do y'all get bonuses and everything? Oh, no, they don't give us bonuses. They don't even give us Christmas bonuses. I'm like, golly. Well, I know that I just paid the people that came out to see my house $300. And if he would come out and do his own work, he would have made the whole $300 or whatever, you know. And I told him, he said, man, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to go back to school and I'm going to do it, man. I'm going to do it. Appreciate you. And sometimes, man, we're sitting on something that we want to do. Rather, it's if you want to own your barbecue truck, if, if you want to be it, whatever you want to do and you love doing it, then don't see it as a hobby. A lot of times we see it as a hobby because we can't believe we can get it to the next level. You know, we see it as in, man, you know what? I don't know if I can get it to the next level. I don't know if this is for me. I don't know if I can do this. And listen, don't be afraid to start all over again. Don't be afraid to start all over again. How many times have you seen someone get into an accident and they can no longer do this? 
But then later on, guess what? Bam, you hear, oh my God, you know what? They're walking again. They're doing this. They're making moves and everything. You know why? Because they were relentless. They they had said, man, you know what? I'm going to do whatever I have to do to walk again. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to, to do the job or do a better job, you know? And if you have that mindset, then you know that you're going to be okay. You know, it's all about feeding your brain. It's all about telling yourself, you know, sometimes we tell ourselves, well, you know, we, we, if we tell ourselves a joke, even if it's just a joke, the brain captures that as a negative. See, say you're saying something negative about yourself. Oh, you know what, man, you know what? I'm lazy. I'm this and that. Guess what? The brain just caught that. No matter if it's a joke or not, the brain just caught that. So tell yourself different. You know what, man? I am strong. You know what, man? I got strength. You know, I got faith. You know what? I am powerful. You know what? I am unstoppable. You know what? No one can stop me but me. And that's the same thing with you. No one can stop you but you. Sometimes you're saying, oh, man, you know what? I can't do this because of this. I can't do this because of that. I can't do it all because. No, you can't do it because of you. That's why you can't do it. Because you don't want to do it. I'm not here to feel sorry for nobody. I'm here to help somebody. You know why? Because I've been there. I remember when I wanted people to feel sorry for me. I remember when I wanted my family to feel sorry for me. I remember when my family would not take me. I still, that stays in my head. That never left my head. I remember being eight years old and they would take my sister with them. And I hope they're listening. And they would take my sister with them and I'll be at home. And I said, mom, why don't they ever take me nowhere? Why can't I go with them? Guess what that was? Because I was a kid and because I wanted too much stuff out there when I would go with them. Well, guess what? I was a poor kid. So if they had it out there, I wanted. But guess what my mom told me? My mom says, one day, one day, you're going to be able to go wherever you want to go. And you can take kids. And you know what? I'm at that point now. I go where I want to go. You know? And sometimes I, I tell my wife, I say, babe, I want, I want to get this. I'm going to get this. And she'll, my wife's the first to tell you, like, we ain't got the money for it. And even when we do, my wife's grinding me. She grinds me real good. But I know that I'm very, very close to being death free. Real close. Like, like thing, real close, right? Um, my credit, my credit is up, you know? And guess what? Unstoppable credit boost. I could help you boost your credit. Look what I can do for you. Check this out. I can build your credit. I can help you buy a house. I'm a life coach so I can help you with your life, with situations. And then when tax season comes, guess what? Unstoppable tax group. Look what I own. Look what I have. How do you think I got there? I got there because I was relentless, because I was going to be unstoppable, and because I knew I can do it. There's nothing different from me and you. You can do it. Also, I'll show you there's not enough money for all of us. There's too much money for that's what I mean. There's too much money for everyone. You know, a lot of times we're afraid. They say free, man. You know what? Can you tell? Yes. Come on. I'll tell you. i tell you. I'll show you. You know, pretty soon I'll be looking for some DJs because I need some more DJs. I'm going to train you. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get you out there and you're going to make some money, you know, and I'm going to be looking for some agents. I need some agents real soon. And I'll show you, I'll show you how you can make money. You know, I'll show you how you can live good. You know, it, and when I mean good, I'm not saying I live in River Oaks. I'm not saying this. I'm saying, I'm saying I live good. I live good. I can come to my house. You know, I can, I can, I can do a lot of things, you know, and it's awesome. But I had to get myself there. You know, people say, man, freestyles, you're, you're DJing, you're doing it. Yeah, I DJ and DJ does really well for me, really well. But I also do everything else. So I never stop working. I'm always working. On TikTok, you can find me on TikTok. Speaking of TikTok, shout out to TikTok. They're watching me right now. Um, 
You can find me on TikTok at Keto Coach. I'm still coaching people and showing people, guess what? I'm going to show you how to lose weight. I'm going to show you how to keep it off. I'm going to show you how to maintain. I'm going to show you how to get rid of diabetes. I'm going to show you how to get rid of um, high blood pressure. I'm going to show you how to get rid of uh, the, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Hold on, I'm, I'm on it, boy. I'm on a row. I'm going to show you how to get rid of depression. I'm going to show you how to get rid of everything. You know why? Because I've been there and because I beat it, because I defeated it and because no one can stop me. You know how I feel it? You know how good it feels to say no one can stop me? Because no one can and no one can stop you. You know, um, before I, I uh, finish my show, I do want to give a um, it, it's not a shout out. It's uh, I had a friend pass away, and we'll be we'll be talking. I'm I'm, I'm trying to do an um, we'll be talking about it soon. But um, Melissa, a friend of mine, passed away, and she was a wonderful person. She was very awesome. She had just became a realtor, and um. Let her rest in peace, you know, or let her rest in past, uh, paradise. And guys, what I'm getting at is life is so short. You got to make the best of your life. If you're not happy, then find something that's going to make you happy. If, you know, if you feel you have not done en enough in life, then probably you have not done enough in life. We are not promised tomorrow. You know, um, it's been a, it's been a sad this year. Barely starting, it's been it's been sad for me. But I, I try to find the the you know the good from everything else. But I've had a lot of friends pass. You know, and what we forget sometimes is that's what we're meant to do. You some I mean. How could I put it? We are here and we're going to be in heaven. Some of us are going to be in heaven. Some of us won't make it to heaven. And sometimes what happens is when somebody dies, it impacts us so hard that we want to give up. That, you know, we we go through depression. We go through this and, and it's, it gets bad for us. When honestly... Some of this was meant to happen. The book's written already. You know, we don't understand. We don't understand. We don't understand, man, what, what happened. Like when my niece passed, I'm like, man, she was so young. You know, why? What happened? You know, and all we now, all we want now is justice, you know. And I, and I know God will give it to us. But things are going to happen. And if we keep ourselves there, then all we're going to do is bury ourselves with them. And they don't want that. You know, sometimes we can't make that move. We can't make the move that we wanted to make. You know, sometimes we had a business and somebody passes away and our business is gone because we're sad because of this and that and this. Well, I'm here to tell you, you know, no matter how hard it is, we got to keep on going. You know, I, I've had friends uh, that go through so much. And all of us, every one of us goes, goes through something. We go through something. Don't think that I don't experience things because we go, everyone goes through something. People die every day. But it comes to how we cope with it. It comes to how we understand it. There's nothing wrong with crying. You know, if you cry and let it out, sometimes you, that's what you got to do. And if you have to do that day after day, then do it. But get it out your system. You know, when when I found out my friend Melissa passed away, I was DJing. It was this Friday. Friday passed. Shout out to the Almaderas. I DJ for the Almaderas. And I'm not sure they see me crying, but I was DJing. I was crying. Oh, my, my timer's going off. And um, I got to jump into a Zoom. Give me a second. Let me just... Let me just close that. But, um, yeah, I just got off of that. Anyway, um, 
so what I was saying is that I started crying and, and um, I was uh, I was confused. I didn't know what song I was going to play and everything. My mind was just, you know, so I don't know why it, why it happened to her. Well, I do know why it happened to her. And, um, you know, again, I won't get into that right now. But guys, man, life is short. So what you want to do right now, if you if you whatever you want to do right now, do it. You know, I hope you all enjoyed my show, guys. I appreciate you. I got to jump into this meeting. Um, if you need any of my services, hit me up. Um, and again, God bless you guys. I'm a certified life coach. So if you need to talk to me about anything, you can reach me up 832-947-4997. See, 832-947-4997. Or 832-715-2557. Guys, thank y'all very much. Appreciate y'all, man, from the bottom of my heart. Keep on checking out my shows. And do me a favor. Please share this video. All right, bye-bye.